like that one here on 98 right there.
description right here would have popped out on Parsons. Adam Norris Sam 89 Mary. It's the exact same color, exact same build. It's probably gonna be the same one. He just popped out on Hewitt Springs or Friendship. I know, but I didn't, but 
video. Okay, well, you can see the video, of course. Yeah. You lose your smart ass attitude either. I'll race for the weed and everything else in here too. You want to play games with me? Okay, that's fine. Oh, the dealership right now, I just got out from there. I'm sure you called your buddy to do the shit there. That car's got GPS on it. We'll just get it off of there. Yeah, we'll call the dealership though. Huh? Call the dealership. I don't call the dealership. I'm just going to get the GPS off your car. All right, sick. I didn't come Sit down. Business. Doesn't matter. How much weed you got in the car? Um, an ounce. Huh? An ounce. An ounce? Okay, yeah. so you can go to jail for that too. We want to play a game you can it. When you decide you okay, want to get wise here in just a second, get it right, remain silent, anything you say, Ken will be used against you in court law either after the turn. If you can't afford to turn, it won't be a point to you. You understand your rights? Yeah, like Okay, so when I get the black box off that car, it's not going to say that you was running over a bug running for me just a second ago. I'll get a search warrant. I promise you I didn't come from home here. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's going to be my vehicle. She's got an unfilled address. She's trying to say that she came from the dealership. And there's odor of marijuana in the car. So it's starting to be 10 11 for I'll get the stuff for you in a second, dude. You're not in a position to be making any demands. Sure, she went down Hewitt Springs and popped back out over here. Do you have somebody else you're looking for? No, this one was running from me. It's a charger, looks it's a charger just like this one. Caught it at 98 out there at the county line, turned around on it, immediately took off, lost sight of it around Sonora. Okay. Had about a quarter mile, half mile jump on me. I'm pretty sure what she did was she jumped off of Hewitt Springs, popped back out over here, and then when I was coming to the light right here, she come right off of it. I kept running code to here though, so she was hauling ass down Hewitt Springs. She would have just popped right back out there anyways. But that's kind of coincidence. Same build and everything.
just didn't want to stop, huh? Well, somebody's calling in saying that the other charger went down Haverton. But we'll see. Still, she's got all this. Greeks to weed. But I pull her out, she's got a Huntsville address on her license, so everything's kind of tight. Well, I mean, it looks exactly like one. I mean, black gray, black wheels. Uh, same thing as the other night when I had started to think about it, like decide whether they're going to pull over or not, but oh, I can outrun them on some punches. So, I'm going to figure out where she was coming from, talk to her. I'm trying to see if she got lots of pieces on the phone to be either Mercy Sanchez County for dealership, but I'm not, she keeps being persistent for me to call the dealership. But I'm not saying that she's probably got a buddy at Mercy dealership that says, hey, say I was going to finish this so, We'll figure that out and everything else here in this second. So. Do you have Life 360 on your phone? What do you think? It's an app, GPS app, shows where you've been. No, I don't. You don't? Okay, so. Well, you, I can call the dealership right now. It's not a dealership, dude. I'm not calling them no buddies or nothing or anybody like that that you have that worked there that you've already talked to. I got to my home. maps. I, was, I got the maps that I was going there. And I got my locations recently. Okay, but it's easy for you to, you've got a Huntsville address. This is the same exact, yes, looks but, identical. Listen to me, that's the same exact car that's identical that's running for me. Same color, same body kit, same spoiler. You could have jumped down Hewitt Springs, popped out right there, and come around. Huh? Yes, but it's not me. I came to back in right now. I was come here. What dealership? Bentonville, my McCarty. McCarty Daniel? Yes. When did you leave there? I, I don't know. Just bring my phone and I'll show you my locations and stuff. Okay, that's what I'm asking. Do you have something on your phone that shows your locations and tracks you? Like yeah. Life 360 or something? Yeah, I got an iPhone. Just bring it. I'll show you. Okay, so why do you have this much weed? And why do you have weed? Because I just got it. I know, but why? Why do you need this? Because I smoke it. I know, but why? Do you have a medical reason to smoke it? Well, I have anxiety. Huh? I have anxiety. Do you have a medical marijuana card? That's what I'm asking you. So you legally can't have it, right? So you're not supposed to have it. You got better stuff, but you also, your car reeks like you've been smoking it in the car, and you can't smoke weed and drive a car at the same time. Understand? Yeah. Huh. I was parked, though. Huh? I was parked. What do you mean? When I smoke. You still can't smoke in a car, dude. It's no different than drinking in a car. If you smoke and then drive, it's you can get a DWI for smoking weed, you know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh? You need anything from us? No, I told him to cancel it all. I don't know why he's doing this. He's freaking out for whatever reason. Where do you get to? Um, go up. So this is my recent location today. Yeah, but it doesn't say what time. Alright, let me see. Because you're in the same car that ran from me in the same area. You've got a Huntsville address where the car was coming from. I know, but it's not me. I wasn't here. I know, but it's your, it's your job right now to prove that. So. No, I don't need anything. I'm good, I got everything under control, except for if they can supposedly find that other vehicle they're talking about. This is my location, my recent locations. Huh? Did it say what time you were there?
think it's these. July 14th. Let me see, I even, um, I'm a, a brown, brown, I tested, right right I tested the guy, cause he's showing other stuff, guy. Right? This is the, the guy from the dealership. I just left that place at that time and I tested him cause that popped up. But they just changed the sensor on my tire. What's this guy's name? Um, I don't remember. I got my car. I got, I got, the, I got his car in my wallet. In your wallet, the yeah. brown one. Um, yeah. service there today at all? Yeah, this one today. They got finished like at the first name or the Why young Adam Robert I don't like that as you Sam Adams, Laura, Tom Ocean, Ocean, David Ocean, Mary Ida, Laura, George Ocean. Is this who you talk to? Yeah, that's the one who looks my tire. Said she spoke with a Logan Ragsdale service advisor. Get this other stuff sorted out. If that's the case, then we'll cut you loose on tickets and stuff for the weed and everything else. But I, I can't stop that camera right now with you sitting in the back seat, so I'm gonna have to go back and watch it later. But if uh, they're gonna have to try to show some video footage and stuff that you were there, did you get a receipt for anything that you worked on today? No, he didn't give me no receipt. So did you? You got it worked on today, or you just went yeah. over and talked to him? No, I just took it over there because they were going to fix my sensor. And then they just changed my sensor, my tire. They still should have paperwork on it. But yeah, they worked but on your car today. Yeah, but he told me I didn't have to sign on nothing. Yeah, but still, they've still got to do a work order to show what they did. Well, yeah, you can Seven, change supposedly, the she had her car worked on. They changed the tire sensor. Let me talk to this other person for a second. We'll figure out what's going on. Just like all of them. I'm sure it's the one. I'm sure it's the one too. She said she just bought it? Huh? She said she just bought it from a dealership? She said, no, she said she just left the dealership in Denville and then she was coming. Why was she coming off of French Street? She went, I got her right here at the light. She oh. was coming off of Butterfield Coast, she turned back this way. But she could have gone down Butterfield Coast, or she was coming. I mean, there's a chance she could have done that earlier. Yeah, I need to know a timeline of whenever she was there. She's saying that she just left there. And I need to make sure that it's not earlier in the day. Because I lost sight of her at the church. And she was still going at a pretty good speed. Indeed, she would have gone straight. The car could have gone down Haverton, but it didn't. I still would have seen it. Because it didn't have that good of a jump on me. Okay. Like, because I was at a, I was a quarter mile behind it at the lightest store. Went through the lightest store, I couldn't see it at all up ahead of me anymore. There's about six cars, about a dollar general. So she could have jumped down Hewitt Springs about the same time where I lost sight of her over that hill, popped out right here on the left, and then 
started right here again. We'll try to come back this way. Yeah. So, I'm pretty sure it's her. She's got a shitty attitude just like all the rest of them. She already, and I'm pretty sure she already hollered at this guy. I was like, I was up there. So, we're gonna, but it's the same body style, same spoiler, same color and everything. How are you? Good. Good. I love running coasters from now. Uh, <coughs> I hate trying to chase you, man. Won't get it. Won't get it. Won't get it. I'm good now. I'm just going to try to confirm the. I'll make the attempt to confirm her story, but like I said, with her having a Huntsville address, same color car, and everything, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Because where I lost sight of it, the only place she should have gone. It would have still been hard for her to make that turn in Sonora, but I was like, she had to make it there. But unless she got ahead of that group of cars and went down Hewitt Springs, I think that's, uh, that's probably the worst what she did. I think that's exactly what she did. It's like Hewitt Springs is second light or first light? Well, it turns into, it runs into friendship. That's that split. So if you go south, they'll take you back to the fourth bowl up here. But if you go north, they'll take you up to the light of friendship. But it's a coach of friendship. Is that one of the models you can check the top speed on? Well, that's what I'm curious about, too. All right, here. Give me a phone camp back here with you the whole time. All right. I'm having a sergeant go look check with the dealership right now. He's going to talk to the manager, not the buddy. But that guy's going to get fine. Him, That's fine. He's going to get himself in criminal trouble if he's trying to cover for you. So we're going to make sure him. he understands that. Huh? I don't even know him. Okay. Well, we're going to... What time were you there, though? I went, like, uh, 2... So it was from 2 to 3, 10. 2 to 3? Yeah. Okay. Well, you still had time to go back to Huntsville and then come back. Huh? It's an hour away. It's 50 minutes. Not if you're doing 98 miles an hour like I clocked you the first time. It's a V6. I can't go 90 miles. I don't go that it's fast. It's a V6. You can't go 90. I don't go that fast. I wouldn't run away from okay. the clock. Okay. A V6 can still do 98. Yes. I'm a girl. You think I'm going to run away from the clock? Yeah. You wouldn't be the first one. Well, that would be cool, but that Yeah, but you me. jumped down Hewitt Springs, and then you popped out right over here, you hung a left, and then you come right back here. It's yeah. the same exact car. Yes, but I don't even know my streets. Like, I have the GPS to go home. I don't know my streets. How I know, am I but if you home? jump off on the street, the GPS will tell you how to get back to where you're supposed to go. Uh -huh. Huh? Well, I mean, I don't know who you saw, but it wasn't me. Okay. Well, I mean, I and it's just going to be an unfortunate set of circumstances and coincidence. So, you can go to jail on the weed, and then when I get down to the jail, I'm going to watch the video. I mean, and I'm make sure. Jail? Huh? I'm jail. Yeah, because right now you match. The vehicle, suspect vehicle, you have a yeah, Huntsville no. address where the cars come from. I'm telling you what the circumstances are. Okay, okay? but you don't have proof that it was me. Now you got weed here. You can be arrested on weed. So right now we're yeah, going to do that, then we're going to continue the investigation. I'm probably going to get a search warrant on the black box in your car to figure out what the top speed was. Yes, but the first thing was you confused me. What do you mean? You're confusing me. So what do you mean? You're in the wrong. How? Because you're confusing me. It wasn't me. How am I confusing you? So you stopped you? me thinking it was me, but it was not me. Okay, but it's reasonable suspicion which is a yes. legal term that you apparently don't understand. I have reasonable suspicion to stop you because you match the vehicle of the vehicle that's running from me. I stop you and immediately smell the odor of marijuana. I have enough to arrest you right there. Okay? Yeah, first thing you must right. It doesn't matter if there's reasonable suspicion. If you, you can sit here and say, you know how many people say it wasn't me all the time in this job? I know, did you call the guy already? Yeah, I'm sending somebody by the dealership and they're gonna go check cameras and stuff. But if you were there several hours ago, after that. Yeah, but what time did you leave? I got 310. At 310? Yeah, that's a long time ago. 315, I don't remember. Okay, so where'd you go after you left the dealership? I went to the gas station. Which gas station? One minimum. Which one? There's hundreds of ones in the Well, I told you I don't know my street, so I don't know which one it was. Was it a come and go? Was it Easy Mart? Um, I don't remember the name. Okay, well, you're not helping yourself. So, I'll just do a search warrant on your car and get all the data off of it. And we'll see what your top speed was and the time of the pursuit and stuff. And okay. we'll just do that. Okay. But right now you're going to go jail on the weed until we get it all figured out. You shouldn't have that much weed in the first place. So, yeah, she can't say where she's coming from or everything else. She left the village at like 310. So. She said it's a loaner? No, she said it's a V6 and she can't. No, 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 no. It's the loaner car. No, 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 no. No, she went to go get serviced by this guy. 
fix the tire since here, but if she left at like three something, she'd have plenty of time to go to Huntsville, come back, or she'd turn around halfway there and come back to something. So, but it's the exact same. Color? No. I don't shift right. I only said that just to appear that you did. would also make sense because it wasn't blowing my doors off. I was keeping with it. So. Her excuse was it's a V6, so it can't go 98. She said, well, I said, it. I was first clocked at 98. She could It didn't get up, and that's why I was actually kind of surprised because I was keeping up with it pretty well. And it slowed down a lot. And it seemed like the driver wasn't comfortable, especially with the curves and traffic. But it would only get up to like 122 on the or on the uh, on 412 it wouldn't that's about the fastest I had it at was 122 or 126 maybe 120s on me around the weight on the records you can go and clear your jump yeah yeah you don't have to finish doing the inventory okay yeah I'm gonna take her at least on the lead right now I'm gonna go back and watch the video is there any other distinguishing marks on the front Right there now, but she had it in the car. She said she smokes it in the car. She doesn't drive with it. Though. So no front license plates. This is blacked out. She's got a red steering wheel. Have you searched any stuff yet? Yeah, I've been through a little bit of it. I haven't done it thorough. I was looking for the weed. So can they? Track, can they track? So uh, I know on the Challengers you can. Is the key in here? Yeah, it should be. Is that just while the within the last little bit or It'd be better if you can back up, go around, bub. You haven't done the post slip yet at all? No. Uh, for right now, continue criminal investigation. All right, dear, so we just checked the data on your car. It even says your top speed ball go was 130, so it was you. So you are under arrest for that. Wasn't Your car says your top speed was 130. I've never gone to 130. Huh? I've never gone to 130. Okay, let me show you something. Did you call, did you call the dealership? Yep. Yes, but you haven't been to the dealership in hours. That's what your car My says. Car Look at what your car says. I got it two months ago. No, no, no. I'm talking about this is just recent. Why does it say it's recent? Right there, because she's done the data. We're going to no, do the data. We're like going to pull your box. That's we're like gonna... the max there had gone in my car. Bro. Okay, well, we're going to do the top speed and stuff. We're going to get a search warrant on the black box in your car. It would just be easier if you help yourself if you did as you. I know. That's why I'm saying I'm trying to help myself, but I don't know how to tell you Okay, I'm not but that's happy. not a very common color. I know. Okay, and it's I've not seen hard. I've seen the animals do, too. Huh? I've seen the animals do. just doesn't have the same hood, but I've seen the animals do. Okay, do you know who grabs it? I don't. Okay. I've seen it where they go, but it's not me. Okay. Well, we'll go back and check it, and we'll get a search warrant on your car, but right now, again, color matching that same. It's a rare color, same body kit and everything else. Right now, we're going to at least take you on the lead, confirm, make sure you're not the driver, and I'm going to do a search warrant on the car. Okay, good. Sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can you give my phone? Yeah, I got your phone. Yeah, I know there. Oh, can I have it?
she's saying she's going to like three weeks. I'll check I'll into it. I'll, I'll check cameras and stuff up there. Right now we're going to go 15 with her. Well, yeah, I got there at three. Yeah. I remember now. I got there at three because they closed at four. And he even told me you got here late, and I was like, that's the earliest I can do. Say again. They got cameras in the dealership too. They can I know. Show you so that's what we're going to check. But you have to understand that right now, between that vehicle and stuff, and then you've got a bunch of weed in the car you're not supposed to have. I mean, you've just put yourself in a bad situation by having the weed. So. Yeah, boy, you're confusing. Me. How am I confusing you? You may not like the rules here, but you you have illegal narcotics in your possession that I you know, can go to jail on. I'm not charging you for fleeing. No, you that's not the way it works. Me first. What? You ask me first if it was me, the one who was driving. No, I don't have to. I have reasonable suspicion. In the United States, that's the way that it works. You have reasonable suspicion and probable cause. I have had a vehicle. That's why I'm running lights and sirens is because I lost sight of the vehicle back there at Sonora, which is about the same spot at Hewitt Springs. If you take Hewitt Springs, it turns into friendship over here, and it pops out over here. Yeah, but you didn't have to take me all the way to your car. You could have, I'm on proof first. No, I can smell weed. I don't have to have proof. That's what you don't understand. You can not like the rules all you want, but that's the way that it is. No, if you don't want to put yourself in this position, I do don't have marijuana in your car. I do understand. No, okay. You well, were wrong in the first place. How am I wrong? Because it wasn't me. Okay, if you prove yourself, then that's fine. But I'm going to go off the fact that right now you have an address in Huntsville where the vehicle is coming from. Yeah, that's not me. Huh? Yeah, that's right. exactly. That's where the vehicle was coming from. No, I was just going over there right now. Right, but that's where the vehicle that was running from me was coming from. Okay, and that's fine. If you want to stick to that, that's fine. And if that ends up being the case, so be it. But you'll at least get charged for the marijuana. Okay, can I get my phone? You're not going to have your phone with you. No, I'm just going to test them that I can go for my baby's day. Uh, we'll let you do that down there in a minute. i got to get this other stuff taken care of first. I don't eat bubble or anything. Anything else in there? 